feel like I said to you guys, I don't want you to see me in this room again. Like I want to like show something else that's not this room. But I mean, I've been home. I've been home. I've been home. I don't remember. Let me back up. Let me back up because I feel like I'm just all up in the camera. <sighs> Man, I don't remember the last thing I said when I was on here. Um, what I was talking about. But, um, yeah, let me just update you guys on, like, what I did today. Um, and what I have, like, lined up. Um, yeah, so I woke up today. I said a sloppy prayer. But the good thing about prayer is it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, a sloppy, rough prayer. Because, yeah, I just been going through it. Um, and, like, just a lot of things that I did today are literally, like, just in God's hands now. And I just have to, like, pray for the best and be okay with the outcome. Um, yeah, so I worked today. I did a decent amount of prep for my event tomorrow morning. I'm going to be getting up like at 3 a.m., guys. This is an early one. Um, it's like a business, it's like a woman's business breakfast brunch type of thing. So, yeah, they're going to be arriving. She said the first person is going to arrive at 10.30. No, she said that at 10.30 and that, um they would be there to like open up the venue by 9 45 but i literally want to be there when they pull up so i want to be there by like 9 15 9 30. um because since the first first person is coming at 10 30 that gives me less than an hour to make sure that the food is back up to temperature and to set up my shafers and stuff like that so i do have a little plan i do have a little plan that's gonna help me make sure that that can happen um so yeah and i may or may not be going out tonight um i was like very indifferent about going out because like yeah i'm in a sucky mood but it would be nice to be around some friends um but then i'm also like on a time crunch but like one thing i don't like to do and one thing i've been like saying is like i don't want to give catering my whole life <laughs> um that's dramatic but i don't want to give it all of my time you know what i'm saying so like if i can do of the bulk of catering work in one day i want to do that versus a little it sounds counterintuitive a little bit you know you kind of prepare a little bit every day it makes it easier but i don't want to give so much of it of my week to it if that makes sense so me opting out to go to this birthday party is kind of like me giving my time giving my life enjoyment you guys understand what i'm trying to say to the catering which i don't want to do um but yeah it's another busy weekend so after the catering i bought tickets to um this event called afro clash um it's basically like a conference or a panel discussion of like um female uh black business owners content creators <clears throat> And they're gonna be you know doing what they do kind of like the uh, live podcast that I went to so the event that I have it ends at 12 p.m. and then the conference starts at 12 so my logic was to be prepared as possible so I have my outfit, which is right there, for the event, this. I have that packed, so I'm going to take that with me. And my plan is either to quickly come back home and change, or change somewhere at the event, in the bathroom, or ask the nice women <laughs> if I can change there like right after i'm done serving the food 
but if I'm late for the event I honestly not that mad maybe maybe I am though because I did pay for a uh, VIP ticket so I want to get the most of it um, and then Saturday is part Sunday excuse me is part two of the event which is like a brunch and then I have like stuff to do like person in my personal personal life, like that will be random because you guys don't have context but I need to like clean out storage unit and then I also need to clean the kitchen like deep clean it um so yeah it's just been a whirlwind of a week yeah this is a sucky time not everything is gonna be perfect 24 7 and another thing I'm just noticing too and it like the book that I'm reading is really helping like just kind of can like the book definitely has a different um delivery like the art of not giving a fuck <laughs> but then <laughs> which sounds so like harsh um but then there's also like you know me being like a believer I feel like there's like also like like a biblical delivery a softer delivery or a more um I don't know divine delivery I don't know but um yeah like the the book the art of not giving a fuck talks about like how problems are actually good because they kind of bring you to a halt and have you kind of like be more aware of what's happening and because you know when things are going good go good, going good going good you're not really kind of maybe noticing that you're in a a season of comfortability oh no no, no. that's that's for the that's for the other uh delivery this is the the secular one that i'm trying to talk about like you may be like so caught up in like everything going good that like you're kind of maybe like complacent i guess um or you're not seeing like where you there was a specific example in the book but i can't remember it but kind of like the problems really kind of problems or like you know struggle actually can be good um and then okay now to the other delivery just like it's like literally like divine interruption type of thing like you can like every you think everything is going good maybe but like internally things are on fire like if things are burning down maybe internally but your exterior like hasn't caught up to it you know what i'm trying to say or like maybe like friendships are dwindling but you didn't notice or you know like certain things that you like maybe at one point you really were pursuing because you know that god called you to it but like you've just been kind of like going through the motions because everything is going so good but like like problems or like the divine interruption is kind of like whoa like oh snap like let me take a step back let me see like where i'm going where i said i wanted to go am i on that path type of thing so i think like honestly everything that like has happened like this week and like honestly like this entire month has really kind of just been like that for me um so i said it like in previous days like there's gonna be a lot of shifts in my life and the things that i'm doing and like just my approach to a lot of things is definitely going to be a shift um but yeah i'm gonna try an outfit in my head this is like a black tie event so i'm gonna try an outfit in my head if it doesn't work i'm gonna stay home and i'm gonna get some food i don't know man my trainer he's 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 at a bodybuilding competition and for some reason like i feel like if i don't eat right I'm gonna be failing him for some reason even though he's I don't know how I feel like his success is connected to my success or something like that but yeah um, but I really haven't had a decent meal all week like I literally been eating chicken from Harris Teeter and protein shake and water and Celsius and eggs like I have not 
that's this is yeah this has to change because like making meals for myself is like such an act of like self-care for me and i feel like because i haven't been able to do that like i'm just not tending to me like i just feel so so rough just eating i need just eating chicken like who that like no no veggies on the side like no no rice like no brown rice no like quinoa just like chicken with hot sauce on it like i deserve better than that like y'all might be laughing but i'm like so serious right now like i cannot let all these things that i'm juggling in life make me put myself on the back burner and i love that i realized that in my early in my early <laughs> i'm not 30 yet in my late 20s because i feel like it's just a habit that you can get stuck in and i don't want to get stuck in the habit of putting my my needs my self-care on the back burner especially when i don't have any like larger responsibilities right now except for maybe like saving and you know making sure i'm keeping up with my parents and stuff like that like i don't have any kids yet i don't have anyone else that i'm responsible for yet so why should i be putting myself on the back burner you know so yeah that's that it's 7 30. i'm gonna take my camera to the event tomorrow so you guys could see something else besides me looking 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 broke down <laughs> um but yeah let me try this fit okay maybe y'all will see y'all can see me try some stuff on and see that's the life of the city boys oh yeah get bam jello oh yeah get bam joel Okay, so I have this and I think it might work. So this is like, this is actually like a mini dress that I got from Shop Akira. I've worn it once. I'll try and put a picture if I can find it um, in there. And then these are just like some satin slacks. Um, so I think that'll be something. So yeah, I'm gonna try it on. If it looks somewhat cute without a wig on, we might have something. <sighs> hey guys, I tried a couple things. I even put my wig on to try and visualize the vibe. I still even have a dress on, but I'm just honestly not feeling it. I'm just gonna preserve my energy for tomorrow. Um, but I'm excited to wear this little bow that I got. Like, look, so cute. So I'm gonna wear that tomorrow with uh, this dress that I got from Shop Micah's. You guys have probably seen it um, on advertisements and stuff. And like, I thought it would be so cute with this little pop of yellow. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I think that's gonna be cute. Um, I should probably take myself out to eat tomorrow yeah uh, but look at me dancing <sighs> where this love is yeah I'm gonna stay home I'll see you guys tomorrow or maybe tonight I don't know tell me I don't look like the cutest chef ever like look at the bow love it all right so i'm gonna talk quick it's 7 53 y'all i woke up at 2 a.m to start cooking i finished around 7 a.m showered did my hair it was a good idea to pack my clothes i decided i am gonna take my clothes with me and then change in the bathroom at the event excuse my pimple um, I'm trying to think of what I need to take with me to like freshen up but um, yeah the food is cooked 
Ooh, yes. So the food is cooked. It's, it's kind of is it kind of weird that this is curly and this is straight? I don't think so. Anyways, the food is cooked. The crab cake sliders are so cute. That was a good choice. Crab cake sliders, fried chicken, pecan apple salad. What else? Egg for its mini egg frittatas or egg muffins. Um, red velvet waffles. And I'm forgetting something. I think that's it. I was gonna do curls in the front, but I think straight is good. Should I put that like that? But yeah, I'll see you guys at the event. Um, these are the only earrings I can find right now. Hey guys, so I just pulled up to the location. I'm probably gonna have to move my car because <clears throat> I just took like the first spot that I thought was closest to the house, but I see 1344, but I'm going to 1366. So yeah, probably still have to move my car, um, but I'm actually pretty early. They said they were gonna be here at 945 and it is 932. So yes, pats itself on the back. Ah, man. I rebuke the tiredness feeling that I'm having now. Um, I do have a Celsius with me, so yeah, that'll give me some energy. Um, I just checked the address to um, the event that I'm going to, and it's 28 minutes away from here, but it's pretty quiet right now in terms of traffic, so let's say 40 minutes by the time I get out of here. Um, so yeah, if I could get to the event by like 1.30, I'm actually okay with that. Um, Cause it starts at 12, but then there's like a mix, like, you know, maybe like a little snack or whatever. I forgot what it's called, like a little mixer maybe. <clears throat> and then like the first panel is at like one, I think, or 1.30. So yeah, I'm not gonna miss too, too, too much. But yeah, uh, whew. okay, let me get out of the car and see what is happening and put my game face on. And yeah. I like to 
I was just thinking guys like I literally do the bare minimum literally the bare minimum when it comes to marketing for Wanakin's Kitchen for my private chef business but like I be getting booked by like the most coolest clients like I don't even know what she does down there I really don't I didn't ask but it sounded like she has a consulting business um, from what she's like briefly said to me because when she was talking to me I was I was like setting things up so I was like half listening but I'm gonna look up her business when I get home but she's a black woman she's also Nigerian too and yeah she said she, she started going full-time in this business about a year ago before she was in HR um, yeah like the space is really beautiful uh yeah i'm just so blessed honestly like this is amazing like so freaking cool like from meal prepping to just cooking random things and going outside and putting the food on a chair and taking a picture of it and posting it like it's actually pretty lit what can happen when you like stick to something and this is everything I'm saying right now is like I hope it's encouraging you guys but it's also encouraging me as well because this is just proof that like I can literally do anything I can literally do anything that I set my mind to and as long as I stay consistent in it I'm gonna see the fruit of it like I be hard on myself a lot of the times I even like open my mouth to say to a friend I work so hard and I'm getting and I get nowhere and I'm laughing at me saying that now because that is just not true that's just not true like look at where I'm at right now <laughs> I'm sorry guys I'm crazy but yeah look at where I am right now um this is actually so beautiful like i'm really having all the feels up here like this is amazing um but yeah i was gonna like say this eventually but this is um my second to last booking for wanakin's kitchen for an indefinite amount of time so i have one more booking november 14th and this one is actually for wssc which is really good i think they're a government agency um but yeah that's lit first and foremost like and i didn't do any marketing but yeah anyways uh wssc um so yeah after that one guys like just through these vlogs i like i hope i i know you guys can see how tired i am i know how tired i am and like it's just too much for me it really is like cooking is definitely a passion for me and I love it um, but I think along the way like I just lost the passion and like it just became about making bread which is nothing wrong with that honestly but if it's about making bread I can't do it this way I just literally took a picture and put it in my close friends and I said I feel like my body is breaking down and that's how I really feel like on top of all the heavy lifting that I do in the gym and the Stairmaster and cooking and standing like literally my legs feel like they're breaking down God forbid any but and my leg break down God forbid but that's how I feel and I I literally woke up at 2 a.m. today to cook and I went to bed at 1230 This has been like a trend for my weekends for a long time. And I'm just absolutely, I'm just, I, I'm just thinking that it's time because 
I really want to just if I don't have to do this the way that I'm doing it if this is about like you know making money and saving and stuff like that then I'm gonna find a way that is more excuse me I'm gonna find a way that is less taxing on my body so yeah I was literally talking to the client downstairs too and she was talking to her nephew who follows her on these trips she's actually from New York um, and she was talking to him about pivoting and I was like come on come on like like divine conversation because that's literally what I've been feeling is it's like it's time for a pivot like how I'm doing Wanakin's Kitchen now like is no more like I've like I've been building the brand for years now maybe like seven or eight years like building the brand like people just know me for it so it feels so hard to like you know stop this like just stop but I really think it's gonna take a different shape it's gonna take a different form and my one of my friends who's an artist she said something really cool to me she was like museums they change exhibits all the time they change exhibits based on the season they change exhibits based on new artists wanting to display their work and that sort of thing and that's how I feel about Wanakin's kitchen like it's still gonna be there but as part as far as the private chef aspect mm -mm. like I really want to I really want to and I believe in you know setting up my life for what I'm believing in and I don't see all this up and down that I'm doing in the life that I'm asking for God asking for from God to be honest like I'm just too busy all the time it affects my mood I'm tired I'm making mistakes I'm not able to give my full attention to things that need my attention because it's just I'm just juggling too much um, so yeah that's my spiel guys like so y'all got the first exclusive I don't know when I'm gonna like say it on like Facebook I mean Instagram or if it's gonna be like a formal thing or if I'm just gonna like off rip start just doing different content or different types of content but I'm definitely closing my bookings for sure for sure and yeah I did not expect to talk about this but I just feel so good up here um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back downstairs make sure that nothing's happening to the food <laughs> um, But yeah guys I'll see ya I'm definitely gonna ask them if I could change here like I'm so happy. I brought my clothes like perfect Good brim good brim one day good brim I'm so hot Hold on, Let me straighten this out. It's so freaking hot but I asked her if I could change for my next stop here and she was like, yes. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Whew, it's so hot. I'm surprised my lace isn't lifting, but my lashes are doing something. I should have brought the glue. It occurred to me that this needed to be ironed. And I also could have done small. Okay, I'm gonna like freshen up with a little a little glossy gloss that I brought. about to be out I feel so prepared like I did that hmm preparation it's cute at 5 in the morning I wake up to 5 on my yarn yeah and my mind is a wall